Okay, so it's Sunday, and so I'm doing some meal prep for the week. We leave town on Friday, so I really only need four days of meals. Um, and I love doing these Jenny O um, turkey breast tenderloins in the crock pot. It's like the easiest way to do it, and it's like it shreds, which is nice. You can do like turkey tacos, you can do turkey on a salad, and I don't put any sauce on it. I do it plain, and then you can add your sauce later. So I'm going to be doing that. I then also have sweet potatoes over here that I'm going to be cooking in the oven, which I'll show you guys. I I'm going to cut up some veggies and all that fun stuff. So I'm gonna get started with the turkey breast. Okay, so all four turkey tenderloins are in here. Kinda looks disgusting actually. And I'm adding like three quarters cup of water. You're gonna kinda drain it at the end. Um, and it's about like a half cup for every two. So I add a little less than a cup because you don't want it to be like too much moisture in there. And then you literally just cover it. I don't add any salt or anything because when I um, make it with whatever sauce I'm going to make it with or um, put it on a bun or whatever, I add salt then. So I just close this guy up, which is really hard to do one-handed, turns out. But I can do it. Awesome. And then for one packet, I normally cook it for like three and a half hours or so on high. So... I'm going to say it's going to be about five and a half hours on high and then you just cook and just let it go and that'll be ready for dinner so and also for meal prep so here's that first and the oven is still preheating so I'm not ready for sweet potatoes but they'll be good soon first we got our groceries delivered and these are by far the most oddly shaped potatoes I've ever seen <laughs> Ooh, look at that one <laughs> They're really weird. Okay, Tim is going to help me out. All right, so to make your sweet potatoes. This is cutlery. <laughs> That's a fork. <laughs> to make my sweet potatoes, um, you just want to poke them Stabby with a fork. Yeah, that do. looks kind of fun. It kind of is. One try. Well, I got a little Watch out of the line. <laughs> okay, you just poke them a few times. They're really hard. Sweet potatoes are really hard. So. Okay, there we go. But you want to get it like enough. Okay, I'm really, this is really hard. I need your help. My fourth stuck. You got a fourth stuck in the sweet potato. <laughs> Can, you get that? Can you get it out, please? Help me. Can you get that out for me? Yeah, you do it. Okay, now. Yeah. So have your husband or boyfriend or hey, girlfriend, yeah. maybe. Maybe your girlfriend's stronger than it's I. It's like they're fighting back. I know. So you poke them, all right. So there's two ways you can do it. So you can poke them and wrap them in foil and put them in an oven, or you can just not poke them and put them in the oven. It'll make the skin crispy. This way it makes it softer though, and I peel the sweet potatoes out, so I like it this way better. It's easier to cut. So I wrap them in foil, just like this. And then you put them in a 350 degree oven for between 30 and 40 minutes. So I'm just gonna put them on the middle rack here. Gonna wrap them over the sweet potatoes, speed it up. Put them in your oven. You can do this with regular potatoes too. Sweet potatoes are a little bit better for you. But Tim hates them. Really, he hates them. Okay, last one. This is by far the weirdest potato. Maybe I'll wrap it this way. I don't think it'll fit the other way. <laughs> These are so weird. All right. All right, set your timer and check back. We're done. Okay, so for breakfast meal prep this week, I'm going to do overnight oats because I was thinking of doing spinach um, egg cups, like quiche cups, but this is something that we had in our pantry and it's gonna work. It's like using a bunch of stuff that we don't use very often. So, especially because I usually, when I make oats, I use instant packets. So this is using our huge tub of old fashioned oats. And this is just a different way to make them. I already made one and I'm gonna show you guys how I'm making the rest. I'm making um, four of these for me and I'm gonna do a peanut butter one for Tim because um, he said he might like that. So he hasn't ever tried these before. So I'm gonna make one in there for him and then if he likes them, we can make more throughout the week. You only have to refrigerate it minimum of four hours, but then um, you really wanna do it over overnight so it's plenty of time it's not like they have to sit for like three days but you can store them for up to five days um, and then after that I wouldn't I wouldn't eat them after that but then what you need um, I'm using some maple syrup but you can also use honey I'm using light Mrs. Butterworth um, a little bit of salt vanilla extract um, old-fashioned rolled oats Greek yogurt this is kind of optional it just makes it a little thicker if you want to use that and then um, milk uh, you can use unsweetened vanilla almond milk if you want that's really good but this is what we have so I'm gonna use this and then um, Skippy peanut butter this is for Tim's peanut butter one so we're gonna make some oats 
Okay, so what you need, you need a third cup of Greek yogurt. I'm using the Faye Total Zero Percent. I usually don't measure it as much as I am right now, but keeping like half cup of oats, but over the top. You need two thirds cup of milk. Not right there. And then a pinch of salt. A little bit of vanilla. Just do a dash. And a couple tablespoons of light maple syrup. Or like I said, you can use honey. Oh, I exploded. And then let's go ahead and make Tim's. That would be the regular oats as I throw them. <laughs> What's the matter with me? Okay, these would be the regular oats, so you just mix it up and pour it in there, but we'll go ahead and make Tim's. So you just want to use like two tablespoons of peanut butter. Come on. Okay, and you can whisk it or just like mix it up. The spatula works just as well. And the peanut butter will just kind of like clump together, but that's okay. All right, and then you just take it and pour it directly into your mason jar. Try not to spill it everywhere like I just did. Just take the lid, seal it up, and then you wanna refrigerate it for at least four hours, but overnight. And I'm gonna make the rest of these five and then put them in the fridge. Okay, so they're all made. I labeled Tim's with the peanut butter, and I'm gonna put these in the refrigerator, and when you take them out to eat them, you can eat them cold, just like this, um, or you can heat them up a little bit. Just make sure to remove the metal lid of whatever you're using, and uh, that's it. So I'm gonna put these away and eat them tomorrow. Okay, so the sweet potatoes are almost done. They just have a few minutes left. I'm going to be cutting up some veggies, making some jasmine rice and turkey burgers, one of which I'm gonna eat now, and the other ones I'm gonna save for Tim and I to eat um, for like another option for lunch this week. I'm gonna put a fried egg on mine today, so I'll show you guys when I do it. But I wanna get the rice going in my saucepan. Hey, that kind of works. Okay, so I'm gonna make six cups of cooked rice. So I'm taking a cup here. Of rice, it's about one and a half cups of dried rice. Uncooked rice, not dried, I don't know why. Okay, and then about three cups of water. And you can do a tablespoon of butter if you want. I'm not gonna do that. And I have my stove off right now. And then I'll turn it on and bring it up to a boil. And I just follow the package instructions for this. I don't like have a specific way that I make it. I actually usually buy the microwavable bit, Uncle Ben's, but this one was a little bit cheaper and you get a lot more rice with it. So I thought I'll just make it on the stove because I'm doing a lot of other stuff on the stove. So this is what it looks like. Alexa, stop. There's my rice. I'm just gonna give it a little stir and I am going to turn the heat on here. So, we need to bring it up to a boil, so I'm gonna keep it on high for right now. Cover it to make it boil a little faster, and then we will check on it in a little bit. All right, the turkey burgers are super, super easy. I just have four turkey burgers here, and we have our George Foreman Evolve system, which has like interchangeable plates, um, and they detach, so it makes it easy to put it in the dishwasher. I spray both sides with some Pam, and then just take one turkey burger, and just flop around there. And... And those take about, it tells you here, like, I don't know if you can see that, but it tells you like all the different times. So, they'll probably take like seven minutes. And I'll check them. And then I'll make this one for me to eat now. Okay, so the three turkey burgers that I'm saving are done. I just put them in this glass container and I'm just gonna leave it open and let them steam. Um, like not get, I don't wanna like smother it. So I'm just gonna let them kind of cool down to room temperature before I close it off and put them in the fridge. I just put my turkey burger on here and I've got my skillet. I'm gonna make a fried egg and put that on top of it. And I'm probably gonna eat it with um, some cauliflower and some rice that I'm making here. We're about five minutes away from rice, five minutes away from sweet potatoes. And then we're really looking good. Okay, so the rice is done and it looks really pretty. <gasps> Ooh, that's the test. You fluff it with a fork. Let's see, did some stick? Some always sticks to the bottom. I don't understand, like if you have a rice trick that makes it not stick to the bottom, this time it didn't stick to the sides, but it's still stuck to the bottom, which like drives me totally bonkers. I'm using a good pan, I hope it comes off. 
you guys have any tips for that, let me know. I don't know why it does that. So, rice is done. I'm gonna put that there and put a little bit on my plate here. I cut up some cauliflower for myself. Have some dill dip I'm gonna use with that rice. I did my fried egg on top and now I'm gonna get the sweet potatoes out and I'm gonna let them cool before I slice them. Tim is gonna go shave his beard off. That's true. How long have you had it on? I don't know, I can't remember. I was trying to think of that the other day. You shaved it off. Briefly. Yeah, right like back. two years ago though, I think. I think you may have had it for two years. Bah! I'll show you the after. Here's the before. Give us a big smile. There, there we go. go. Okay, I want to kiss. Oh, you're so cute. He came up with a mustache on and I bought it. <laughs> yes, my husband. Okay, bye. Okay, so the sweet potatoes finished up and I just um, slice them and then I scoop it out with a spoon and I'm gonna put a lid on it. These are really cool because they're collapsible so they collapse to be about like this thick. Um, about a little bit thicker than the lid and then they open up like that which I think is really cool. Somebody got us these um, for the wedding and I love it. So I'm gonna put these in the refrigerator. Turkey just finished so we're gonna have some dinner and then I'll pack it up for meal prep. And that's gonna be it for Today's Vlogmas meal prep video. I hope that you guys liked it. Give it a thumbs up if you're enjoying Vlogmas. And I will see you guys all tomorrow.